Hello there my crafting friends. Debbie Gets Crafty here with you and I thought I would take a challenge that one of our folks that is on our Facebook page and her name is Sharon with Pencil Surprises. She posted a video stating that um, whipping chats tend sometimes to be a little long. So she threw out a challenge to other YouTube creators to do a whip and chat and keep it within a half an hour. So I'd like to take her up on that challenge. So my friend Sharon from Pencil Surprises, this one's for you my friend. So we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of a whip and chat today. And I am working on my mandala picture. And I have my kit already. Actually, I put my kit over here. All right, and I also have my alarm clock set. So we're going to do, it is 7.02 p.m. my time. So we're going to go ahead and set the alarm for 7.32. Now, this may be cheating a little bit, but I can't help it. If I get to talking, I might get away from myself, but I want to keep it within a half an hour, and I think that's a great idea. I agree with Sharon. I think sometimes when they're a little long, I have to go back and watch sometimes if there's a, a quite a long whip and chat. I enjoy them, but sometimes it is a little too much for me to take in all at one time. I just don't have the time to do it, to sit there for that long. So a half hour, I think, is a really good uh, idea. So let's go ahead. We'll get started. I'm going to get comfortable. And we're going to zoom in a little bit. I'm sorry for the glare. I'm going to get rid of that glare right now. There we go. Actually, I'll go ahead and take this away. Don't worry, folks. I know there's a certain way you have to put the paper back on or else it will not <laughs> end well. So what I'm going to do is put one of my cover minders on it with the face facing up exactly the way I will put it back on the picture and I want to show you my cover minder isn't he adorable my twin sister Judy from all fired up crafting lounge got me that all right so what I did was I took the paper off and I put my little cover minder on He's face up, so that's how I will put it back on my picture. All right, so let's go ahead and begin. And let's see here if we can try to, there we go. That should work a little bit better now. All right, so let's go ahead and bring it down just a little bit more. Okay. Sorry about that, folks. Hang in there. All right, my friends. So we're actually going to go ahead and begin. I am so sorry. I am going to have to have a little bit of a little bit of light on here so I can see what I'm doing. And I apologize for the glare. Okay, so let's go ahead and, as a matter of fact, let's see if we can't cover up that little spot of glare there with some with some drills. So I hope everybody is having a good day so far. I know I am, now that I get to spend a little time with you. So one of the areas is number nine. So we'll put a couple, a couple little drills out. There we go. And I like to leave whatever container I'm working with, I'll leave the lid open, especially on these containers where they're all connected together. 
don't judge because I have accidentally left the lid closed not realizing and some of the colors are so close that I was actually a little thrown off as to where it should go all right and let's see if maybe just maybe covering up this little little bit there might help eh, not that much but we'll work with it okay so let's go ahead I'm just gonna start working on this painting and let's see here let's try to get a little bit closer there we go alrighty so I'm gonna start with this flower area right here and let's go ahead and get started so we're going to start with number six just a little bit of um, housekeeping I want to tell you all about um, first off thank you for stopping by and visiting with me while I work on this mandala uh, I do want to let everybody know since it is just about the middle of June that July is quickly approaching so as we begin to wind down on our show me uh, show us your pride month for June which I think has gone really well I want to thank everybody who has participated on our Facebook page which is called sassy crafting sisters uh, we've had a lot of fun looking at everybody's works that they've been working on and also have finished for show us your pride so many talented folks out there and uh, it's been a pleasure um, watching you know everybody's works let me go ahead and pull this back a little tiny bit no the opposite there you go okay there we go so it's been a lot of fun watching everybody uh, display their projects that they're working on and I guess this mandala could qualify as well it's got the colors of the pride flag in it as well so there's that as well I will be working on my little unicorn that I unbagged recently which also has the colors of the pride flag in it and I'll be working on that in the next few days I also am finishing up on a project that I have for my husband it's a beautiful rendering of a deer that looks a lot like a deer that he had uh, gotten during deer season up in New York State many many years ago when we lived up in New York State and uh, for those who are animal lovers, I do apologize, but uh, we have him proudly mounted on our living room wall above our fireplace. And when I saw this picture in on Amazon last year, I had to have it because it reminded me uh, so much of the deer we have on the wall, who we named Bubba. So he reminds us so much of Bubba. And um, so I got that picture and I'm really I'm almost done with it I'm so happy with the way it's turning out and when I'm done I'm going to go ahead and take a side-by-side -side photograph of the real Bubba and um, the picture that I did I mean the it's it's like uncanny how close they look um, so it was really neat so that's what I'm doing and then I'm once I'm done with finishing Todd's picture my husband's picture then um, I'll be working on my unicorn and for the month of July um, we like to do a theme for the month of July and that theme is going to be patriotic now 
patriotic in the States because it's July. We think of Independence Day, July 4th. But of course, you know, there are some folks that don't live in the United States. First of all, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. Uh, if you don't live in the United States, I'm totally in awe and grateful that you have subscribed to the channel. And also, even if you don't live in the United States, uh, you're more than welcome to participate in showing, um, sharing pictures that you may be working on or may have worked on already um, that represent the country that you live in. And for the folks that live in America, then you can work on a picture that has something to do with Americana, the red, white, and blue, um, the flag, bald eagle, you know, anything that you'd like that's patriotic, feel free to share on our Facebook page, which is Sassy Crafting Sisters, and uh, we'd love to see your work. And each month, Judy and I have come up with a theme. So towards the middle of the month, we'll go ahead and let you know what the next theme will be for that following month. Or if you'd like to know ahead of time to plan, I'd be happy to share that with you as well. Just let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to post that as well. But next month's theme for July is going to be patriotic. So for for the United States, it can be, you know, red, white, and blue, Americana, anywhere else in the world, you can choose any other type of picture that represents your country or uh, something that's patriotic for your country, and we'd love to see it. So moving on, let's go ahead and I'll take this particular row right here which is number five. So I didn't have to go very far for that. And we'll go ahead and put a few drills in. Alrighty. I tell you, I don't know where everybody lives, but here in Tennessee, it has been so hot. It's just been crazy. And uh, post in the comments where you're from and how the weather has been in your corner of the world. We are uh, having some very bad heat here. I'm sure not nearly as bad as other parts of the country or other parts of the world. But um, your girl Debbie, she's not a fan of the heat, to be honest with you. I don't mind... Uh, bundling up in the cold weather, but once I get down to what the good Lord gave me in my altogethers, as I call it, once I get down to that, where I can't take anything else off to get comfortable, I got a problem. So I am not a fan of the heat, but I look at it this way. Each day that I'm able to wake up and experience whatever the weather has in store, I'm going to consider myself a lucky lady and smile and carry on. So, that is that. Oh, and look at what I just did, kids. Now, this is the reason why probably you don't want to take your plastic all the way off because, of course, I spilt some drills. But I am not worried about it because... I will pick them up and luckily it was only about five drills that fell and I'll be able to get them. Let me just move this one. This glue is a little on the, shall we say the skater glue side, which means you can maneuver your drills around if you had to. If you get them stuck somewhere where you have to move it and reposition it, you can. Some glue, however, once it's stuck, it's stuck. But this has a little tiny bit of a skater glue, which works out to my benefit. 
because this way I can go ahead and move those around and I was able to pick them up with no problem. Doesn't bother me. We can fix it. Not a problem at all. So we're going to go to our next color which is right here inside this flower and that's a thin X and that's number three. So I'm going to put some three. See there I go again closing that cap. I want to keep it open. You can't take me anywhere kids. All right, so let's continue on. And I do want to thank everybody who has subscribed already to my channel. Uh, you folks from the beginning, and it's only been an active channel for a very short time, but I still want to express my gratitude. Um, you know, I've got some real um, good friends out there that have... Um, supported this channel and I'm meeting new friends literally every day and with your support it is helping my little channel grow and that's exactly what I want to do. I want to be able to provide more content and enjoy, do what I enjoy the most which is diamond painting. Uh, I never thought I'd get into a craft like this and until last year I never even knew it existed and then I just happened to stumble upon a video on YouTube about diamond painting and uh, I found myself enthralled and wanted to know more and where I could get my hands on one and at least try it out and I did I got a, a small picture and I tried it out and I was hooked and I tell you, it's just, uh, it's a great little pastime to have. You know, if you've had a stressful day or, you know, a long day at work or, or whatever, if you're just having some stress in your life, sitting down and just, like I say, placing some drills on the canvas can really, really, well, you're not going to get me twice, drills, can really be uh, a help to uh, calm anxiety and just make you feel more comfortable, more relaxed. And I just, I find the whole process really just very relaxing. I'm glad that I picked it up and I'm glad that I get to share it with you all. And so we'll move on to our next color. And our next color is going to be number eight, which is this beautiful peridot green and we'll place it right there now with my schedule I only get to diamond paint for a couple hours after dinner each night which is fine uh, on the weekends if I have a day that uh, I don't have very many errands to run then I'll devote a little more time to it but couple hours a night that I get to and I, I work on it after dinner and it relaxes me and I just find that it's by the time I'm ready to go to bed I, I really truly am relaxed so uh, it actually has helped me uh, with my sleep felt falling asleep is a little easier because I am a little bit more relaxed um, when I when I diamond paint uh, usually at night after dinner I have a little corner in my living room with a little table set up and a little desk lamp and uh, I have an old desk chair that I put out there and I'll sit out there and, and diamond paint while my hubby watches his favorite television shows or sports or whatever it may be and uh, but sometimes I also come into my office where we are right now and I'll sit here in diamond paint and I might put on a podcast and sit and listen to a podcast. If, if you all listen to podcasts while you diamond paint or listen to music, please comment below and let me know what you like to do while you, while you diamond paint. Do you put on YouTube and, and have, you know, one of your favorite uh, YouTube creators in the background um, and you listen to their 
to their videos or do you listen to music or do you have a favorite podcast that you enjoy? Let us know. I'd love to know what other people do. And sometimes, honestly, sitting here in the quiet, I'll also do that as well. And it just having that little bit of time, that little bit of quiet time, um, can be very therapeutic, really. Okay, so we're going to move on here. We have little minus signs on this flower right here. And that's number seven, so we'll pick seven up. Oh, this is a pretty purple. And if my friend Marilyn watches this video, she's just going to lose it when she sees this beautiful purple. Marilyn, my darling, this is for you, my friend. Yes, ma'am. That is Miss Marilyn's favorite color. All right. Now, I also want to tell you folks that my twin sister, Judy, who I mentioned earlier, she has All Fired Up Crafting Lounge on YouTube. She and I, we are twins. We do both enjoy diamond painting and we both started our own YouTube channels. She started just before I did. She was my inspiration. She's always my inspiration. And um, we are actually going to do, hang on for your, hang on to your hats kids. We're going to do a live and we will do a live whip and chat this Friday, which is June 17th. And we will be live here on YouTube at eight o'clock Eastern time, seven o'clock Central time here in the States. And we figured we'd pop on and do a quick live, about a half hour, just to chit chat. And if anybody has any questions that they would like to ask us, please feel free to leave those questions in the comments below. Or you can hop on over to our Facebook page, Sassy Crafting Sisters, and feel free to leave a comment there. And let's see here. Let me just see what we have. Okay. And uh, we'll be happy to answer your questions. Just to let you know, Judy is a good time for sure. Uh, I do want to caution folks that um, this will be for folks 18 and older. So uh, if you... Um, if you're not a fan of um, adult language, um, it won't be horribly, you know, uh, adult language. But we do tend to use a little light cussing now and again. I do admit it. But it's not going to be, you know, over the top. But I do want to just caution folks, if you do, if you would rather steer clear of that, I understand completely. Um, but just be aware. And, uh, but if you do have any questions, please go ahead and list them in the comments below. We'd be more than happy to answer any questions that you may have. Uh, we look forward to it, as a matter of fact, and we would be honored if somebody wanted to ask us some questions. And like I said, it'll be about a half hour long, and uh, it should be a good time. It'll be a lot of fun. So I think we're going to go to number four. Alrighty, and so I'm going to fill in some of this flower right here, right there, with number four, which is this beautiful icy blue color, almost like an aquamarine. There we go. And Judy is so excited about doing a live together. 
she and I, we could fight over a piece of paper, but if anybody ever picked on her when we were growing up, they would have to deal with me. And uh, that's just the way it's always been. So, and I always, whenever I have a chance, I always like to remind her who the uh, big sister is. I'm a minute older than she is, so. <laughs> so I like to always rub that in. But we have a lot of fun together, so. And that's what it's all about. All right, so we're gonna move on to number one which is this beautiful little light champagne type color. There we go, and that's the up arrow. Just move that there. There we go. But it ought to be some, it ought to be fun. I'm looking forward to it too. You never know what to expect with my twin sister, to be honest with you. She is just a hoot and a half. And when we're together, forget about it. Even though we'll be on the, on the internet, we'll still be together enough to, <laughs> to cause some trouble. <laughs> I always say she was my first best friend in this whole wide world, and she always will be. I am the luckiest person to have her for my sister. And of course we will reminisce and do a little storytelling for everybody to enjoy. I'm sure she's got a few tales she'd like to tell about me. So when she starts, then I'll figure out what I want to tell about her. But it should be a good time. Like I said, Friday, which is June 17th, and it will be 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Central Time. It'll be about a half hour. And if you have any questions that you'd like to ask about anything, about us personally, about our crafting, We'd be happy to uh, to answer your questions and look forward to it. There we go, and we will continue on. I love this color, this champagne. It's just a very pale, pinky champagne color. I've been really enjoying doing this mandala. I can't wait to, to be able to hang it up. I'm going to hang it up in an area where it'll get some sunlight and uh, just the sunlight bouncing off of these beautiful crystal gems. It's really going to look pretty. And of course when I'm done, before I even hang it up, I will be sealing it. Um, as a matter of fact, shout out to Lynn, Diamond Grandma for um, giving us the, the information about sealing diamond paintings. Uh, she uses Minwax, uh, the poly, um, polyacrylic, and she has had a lot of success. She swears by it, and um, I can't wait. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to seal my, my paintings as well, and uh, so I can display them. And it protects them as well. But you do whatever you'd like to do to seal yours, if you choose to seal them. Not everybody does, and that's okay. Some folks choose to just, you know, hang them as is, put them behind glass. Uh, or even if they don't put them behind glass, they just hang them on the wall. And that's okay, too. You know, this is all what's, what makes you the most comfortable. And that's what it's about. If you like it, then you do it. You know what? Life's too short. 
to have somebody dictate to you what you should do and what you shouldn't do. But if you see somebody and you like their technique, give it a try. You never know unless you try. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try. And I think it's going to be great. I've seen Diamond Grandma's paintings after she's sealed them with the Minwax and they look fantastic. Uh, I invite you to go over to her channel and take a look. It was a video that she's done uh, fairly recently. So take a look at her playlist. You'll probably have it there. Oh, folks. Look at that. The time on the clock says 7.32. And that means that's a half an hour. Well, my friends, I think we are just about done for the day with our whip and chat. So we're going to place our little frog friend back on our painting. Here we go. It's not perfect, but the whole painting is covered, so we'll take that as a win. And we'll put our stuff away. My friends, I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me for this half hour. I have really enjoyed myself. I certainly hope that I make our friend Sharon from Pencil Surprises proud in keeping this within about a half hour. And um, please, if you like this video, please do hit that like button. Uh, please leave a comment. And also, if you would like to see some more of my shenanigans, can't even talk tonight, but if you'd like to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button and also the bell button. And this way you'll be notified when I come up with some new videos here. And I do want to just thank you all again, uh, those who have currently subscribed for your support. Those of you who are thinking about subscribing, please do so. Uh, I certainly hope that I have entertained you for this half hour. Uh, I'm also on Instagram. Uh, my Instagram page is Debbie Gets Crafty. And I do want to thank you again from the bottom of my heart for participating in this whip and chat. Until we meet again, I want to just say that the world needs so much more love now and not less. Please, my friends, please take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And until we see each other again, I want to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you a very good day. Goodbye now.